I wonder what Christa Berg is doing right now. I've written many letters to his people with my queries. The lack of answer means I've had to formulate some theories as to what Christa Berg is doing right now. They say the lady in red is played at least ten times a day. He must get steady income for that kind of radio play. Fiscally, it means the wolf is nowhere near his door. He could spend the whole day browsing in the Apple store. He hasn't got an iPad though. He will not take the risk. He got his fingers burned after he backed the laser disc. He bought Jurassic Park before the format started unraveling and tried to pass it off as a gold disc for a spaceman came traveling. The ruse was exposed quickly though by his good friend Jeff Lynn. The man created ELO and nothing gets past him. The two of them have planned to have a game of squash or two. It's how they try to keep in shape since they no longer tour. Chris has made two squash courts in an old converted barn. They might also phone Rod Clements, who was in Linda's farm. Yes, I wonder what Christa Burke is doing right now. I've written many letters to his people with my queries. The lack of answer means I've had to formulate some theories as to what Christa Burke is doing right now. He's in his basement cinema in a velvet suit of purple, working his way through a 12-disc box set of Miss Marple. His sense of danger satisfied by murder mysteries. He likes to compliment them though with documentary. Whatever the subject matter though, he makes it an occasion. Fine clothes and confectionery are part of the equation. Tomorrow might be World War II in colour and a silk sarong, with a box of Terry's all gold and a pair of silver tongs. The tongs were gifted by Jeff Lynn, who shares Chris's obsession. They'll often get together for a big old box set session. Chris can get quite angry though, because Jeff can be quite tight. Last time he brought Tenko and a single Turkish delight. Yes, I wonder what Christa Berg is doing right now. I've written many letters to his people with my queries. The lack of answer means I've had to formulate some theories as to what Christa Berg is doing right now. He also wants to visit the beach if he can get the chance. He plans to decorate a mirror he bought last year in France. It wasn't a lovely antique shop in Cognac that he found it. He plans to customize it by putting seashells all around it. A job that he's been meaning to do for well over a year. Even though his Hampshire home has its own beach and pier. Maybe this is why he has been putting off this chore. The shells are only 20 or 30 yards from his back door. All he needs to do is take out Ferryman for a run. Scoop some beauties in a bag and then the job is done. Ferryman's a setter bitch with a shiny coat of red. A lady in red in fact, as Jeff Lynn once humorously said. Jeff will often walk his dog with Chris when he's invited. A cockapoo called Living Thing who's quite badly short-sighted. Yes, I wonder what Chris de Berg is doing right now. I've written many letters to his people with my queries. The lack of answer means I've had to formulate some theories as to what Chris de Berg is doing right now. Later on a meeting with his manager is pending. He needs to deal with a few matters that are still outstanding. First up is the new Christa Berg app that has been planned. It will involve either paying or not paying the ferryman. A fan in Belarus has also put in a request to see him. He wants to show him plans for the world's first Christa Berg museum. The planning office in Minsk has already tried to spoil it, insisting he install a fully working disabled toilet. Just two of many issues that they will need to review. They'll cope with it over an informal dinner rendezvous. The manager's a close friend and Chris likes to cook him dinner. He'll make his famous lasagna and he might invite Jeff Linner. It has secret ingredients, of which there are three. Tabasco, fresh oregano and Derry Lee. Yes, I wonder what Christa Berg is doing right now. I've written many letters to his people with my queries. The lack of answer means I've had to formulate some theories as to what Christa Berg is doing right now. Of course I have no notion of what Christa Berg has planned. I'm not allowed within a 50 yard radius of the man. All I wanted, all I craved was somehow to get near. And so I masqueraded as a BT engineer. I wasn't doing harm, I was just going through his bin. But I got caught red-handed by the eagle-eyed Jeff Lynn. 
I tried to explain away, but in my backpack he could see. Receipt, discarded seashells, and an empty derry These are all the crumbs on which I must extrapolate. And from fifty-one yards away I can only speculate. But speculate I must. It is my destiny, it seems. The gap between me and Chris is where I live my dreams. And so I have no real idea what Chris is doing, you see. The only thing I know is, he's not doing it with me. Yes, I wonder what Christopher is doing right now. I wonder what Christopher is doing right now. Is he playing squash in his barn with that guy from Linda's farm? I wonder what Christopher is doing. <laughs>